Hello friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I'm going to show you how to make a scratch card app in MIT App Inventor. In a scratch card app, you can scratch a card to find the hidden picture beneath it. Nowadays, this is used to make money earning apps. So you can build on the scratch card app to make earning apps, or you can even make a children's app to make them guess the hidden picture below by scratching the card in a given time. First of all, open up MIT App Inventor. Go to projects, start a new project, let's call it scratch card. First of all, let's upload the media. I will be uploading three vertical images that I will be hiding randomly behind three differently colored cards. I will also be uploading an optional logo image that I will be displaying on the menu screen. So this is screen one and this will be our menu screen. So first of all, make a line horizontal and a line vertical both center for the screen one. Make background color black and make the screen orientation portrait. From user interface, drag and drop an image component and choose the picture, the logo picture as its picture. Now from layout, drag and drop a horizontal arrangement and put it below this image. Make height 20%, width fill parent and align horizontal and align vertical both center. Okay, now from the user interface, drag and drop a button and put it inside the horizontal arrangement. Rename it to green card button and make the background color green and change the text to green. And also make its width 20%. Okay, now Select this green card button and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V for Windows on the keyboard. And if you're using a Mac OS, then Command C, Command V. Rename the duplicated button as blue card button and change it accordingly. That is, we have to change the background color to blue and the text to blue too. Now again, duplicate. Rename to yellow card button and change the background color to yellow and the text on it to yellow. Okay, now what we're going to do is that when someone presses the green card button or any of these buttons, we will be opening our card screen where we will be showing a green colored card if the green card button has been pressed and so on depending upon the color button pressed and then the user has to scratch the card to find what the picture is beneath it okay so that means we need another screen so click on add screen and let's call it card screen okay now the designer view for the card screen has opened up but we need to go back to our screen one and go to the block section. And here, what we're going to do is we are going to open up our card screen whenever the color button is pressed and we have to tell which color has been chosen by the user. So first of all, get the button event for the green card. And when the green card button is clicked, what we're going to do is we are going to open up our card screen so go to control and if you see that it has this open another screen with start value so choose this block because we want to pass the color to and we are going to choose the card screen here and the start value we are going to use a text block and I'm going to write it in capital letters green okay because the green color button has been clicked Duplicate it, 
choose blue hair and change the color to blue too. Again, duplicate, choose yellow and change the color to yellow too. So make sure that you spell it right. So once we have passed the color name as a start value, we can access it in our card screen and we can know which color button was pressed on the menu screen, that is screen one. So this is the way to pass values between screens without using TinyDB, okay? Now let's go to our card screen and go to its designer view. First of all, change the screen orientation to portrait, change the title to scratch the card. For the card screen's properties, make a line horizontal and a line vertical both center. Drag and drop from drawing an animation a canvas and make its height fill parent and the width also fill parent. Now, we need a button for going back to our menu screen. So go to user interface and drag and drop a button below the canvas and let's rename it to back button and I'm going to make the background color red and I'm just going to change the text to back okay now let's go to the block section when the screen is initialized we need to do two things first choose a random picture and make it the canvas's background so get the card screens initialize event and make a local variable. We don't need a global variable for this work, so I'm going to use a local variable and I'm going to make it random number. So that's the name of our local variable and I'm going to give it a random number value between one and three. Why three? Because I have three images that can come below the card, okay? So that is why I want a random number between one and three. So go to maths and here we have this random integer from 1 to 100. So I'm going to make it 3. Okay, so this number will be the total number of images you have. Okay, so in my case it is 3. Now depending upon the value generated by the computer, the random integer generated by the computer, my random number will be filled up with that value and I can check if it is 1 then I will show picture 1. If it is two, I will show picture two, so on and so forth, okay? So this is a way of getting a random image below your card screen, okay? So go to control and get this third if then else if then else block, okay? Because I have only three conditions. Either the random number will be one, two or three. Three will come in else, okay? Go to logic, get the equal to block, hover over random number to get the getter for it and Go to maths, get the number block. So if the random number generated is one, I am going to set the canvas's background, this image, to picture one. We can duplicate it, change it to two, duplicate, and now this will be the second picture, okay? And the last is we have checked for the other two conditions so this means the random number is three so we are going to make it the picture the third picture okay now the second thing that we need to do is that we want to hide this canvas's background image by a huge circle and the color of that circle should be of the color that was chosen by the user on the menu screen so how can we do that for this again, we need this third if else block. Make sure that you put it outside the local variable block. Okay. And here we are going to first of all check what is the value inside the start value. Okay. So if I go to control and go down, 
I can get this get start value. This is the value that is sent by the previous screen that is screen one. Okay, so again, go to logic, get the equal to block, plug this in. And if this is equal to the text value of green. I am going to set my canvases paint color to green too. So I can get the color block from colors. Again, duplicate the condition, but this time change it to blue text. And again, duplicate the set canvas dot paint color and change it to blue. And in this case too, if it is not green or blue, then this means that it must be yellow. So we don't have to specifically check for it, okay? So just set the canvas paint color to yellow, okay? Now we are going to use this paint color to draw a circle in the middle of the canvas so that our background image is covered by that color. And then user will have to scratch the color to find what the picture beneath it is, okay? So how to draw that circle? We have to go to canvas and get the draw circle procedure, okay? Now to make sure that it is exactly in the center of our screen, we have to make the center X and center Y both zero. And we are going to give a big radius to a circle. So let's make it 4000. And the fill is true so that it is filled up with that color and hides the picture. Last but not the least, what we are going to do is we are going to set our canvas's paint color to a white color, which is also transparent. So that is the trick to get that scratch effect. Okay, so how to do that? Again, we can duplicate this set canvas dot paint color block. And instead of a particular color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to colors and I'm going to make a color. Okay. And this is the code for the color white. But we also want to make it transparent. So click on the cog wheel to add another item to it. This is an optional item, but we're, we will be using it to get the transparent effect and the value is zero for it. So this is the trick to get that scratch effect, okay? So now when we have set the paint color to this color, whenever someone will drag their finger on the screen or touch the screen, the picture, this color on it will be removed in a way or scratched to display the picture beneath it, okay? Initialize event is done. So let's work on the back button code. When the back button is clicked, we want to open our screen one again. That is go back to the menu screen. So just use this open another screen and the screen name should be screen one, okay? Now what next? When the user drags their finger on the screen, we want to draw a line and the line will be using this paint color. So go to canvas and when it is dragged we want to draw a line so canvas procedure draw a line and first of all before drawing the line let's choose the canvas's line width so set it to 15 would be nice. So for mass block, 15. So the line will be drawn with this width of 15 and it will be drawn from the previous positions X and Y to the current positions X and Y. That is from the previous position of our finger to the current position of our finger. Okay, so hover over it, get previous X, hover over it, get previous file, so this is our x1, y1. Now this code is identical to the Doodle app and the drawing apps that I have taught multiple times before. Okay, 
and when the canvas is touched we want to draw a circle so get the touched event for the canvas and get the procedure for drawing a circle from the canvas component so what is center x center y hover over it get x hover over it get y and the radius i'm going to use 10 okay so we are done so just clean up the code by right clicking and choosing clean up blocks and you can see that this app has a lot of potential so have fun coding this app and expanding on it to make your own unique earning app or children's app so use your imagination and creativity i hope you like this video please like it and share it with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you don't miss any of the great projects that i've planned for you Thank you for watching my video, have a good day and goodbye.